Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my latest Amazon purchase. This is the GPS collar from the company My Pet Command. I should say the new GPS collar from My Pet Command, model MPC GPS 2. This company had a prior model. This is the new model that was just released in August of 2022, and it has several upgrades over the prior model and I will talk to you about what those upgrades are here in a second. Let's do a quick unboxing video, and then I will take the GPS unit outside and maybe show you some of the features of the GPS unit. This is an outdoor GPS unit. It's only designed for outdoor use only, and it's uh, for yards that are pretty decent size all the way up to farms. You're going to basically be setting a radius, a barrier, that's using GPS satellites to control how far your dog can go or not. The minimum of that barrier is 33 yards, it can go all the way up to a thousand yards. So let's take a look at everything we get first. We've got a couple different instruction manuals in here. One of these is a training guide. The second is a full on instruction manual. You've got 10 boundary flags that you can basically put in the ground to show where the end of your boundary is. Dog training whistle. They give you a couple sets of metal prongs, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these, that you would basically put on depending on the size of your dog. Along with the prongs, you've got some conductive silicone caps that you can put over the prongs. Again, they give you two sets for the small prongs as well as for the long prongs. You've got a test bulb here, so what this is for is this is for you to be able to see whether or not the GPS unit is transmitting a shock or not, and you can do it with this test bulb versus having to shock yourself to see if it's working. So it's pretty cool. You basically put the GPS unit up to it. If it's transmitting a shock, this bulb will light up, and that will tell you that the shock is on. So I mentioned that this model has a lot of upgrades over the prior model. One of them is the charging cable. They have gone to a magnetic charging cable. That's what this is. It is a USB charging cable. And then last but not least, the GPS unit itself. So this GPS unit is much more robust and waterproof over their prior model. The other thing is the strap itself that comes on it is a lot more heavy duty over the prior model. Has a bigger battery. The battery in this one can last 25 to 30 hours in between charges. That's while it's connected to GPS units, so that's a very good battery life on any GPS unit, 25 to 30 hours between charges. The other thing that's nice that I'll show you when we go outside is when you set your center radius on this one and you take off walking, you can look and you can see how many yards away you are from the center of your radius. I'll show you that here in a second. So that's a quick unboxing. Let's take the GPS unit outside and see how it works. Okay, so I've had some time to go through the manual and play with the GPS unit a little bit. I thought it might be beneficial to walk you through it. The one thing I should mention is that My Pet Command uh, builds and develops their own software and algorithms for their GPS units. Other companies out there just buy the GPS unit from some third party company. My Pet Command creates their own, tests their own, and uh, as a result, they've got a great product here. So let me show you some of the basics. The M button is going to be your mode button as well as your power button. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now remember, this GPS unit has a built-in memory that will remember your saved location and it will remember the barrier that you've uh, established for that location. You really shouldn't have to reset it. Now GPS unit satellites can tend to drift, so maybe every week it's a good idea to reset your GPS unit. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you can see I turned it on. I've got a GPS signal, almost a full string signal. Now I'm around a bunch of trees in case you can't see from the reflection, and I've still got a full signal here. You can see that I'm five yards away from the center of my barrier. I'll show you how to reset that. If you press the location button down here, it'll take you to your barrier settings. So once I go in there, I can adjust the yards of the barrier. Now remember, the minimum that this can be is 33 yards. So once you get to 33, the next value is going to be 999 yards. Maximum of 999 yards, minimum of 33 yards. I'm going to go ahead and set mine on 33 yards, and I'm going to go ahead and press and hold to reset my barrier. So now you can see that I'm at zero as I am in the center of my barrier. The other thing that you can do is if you press the M button while the unit is turned on, you can adjust your levels 
For example, there's your shock level, there's your vibration level. Again, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see that. You've got six different levels of shock and vibration that you can set on this unit. Once you've got everything set, the biggest difference between this unit and the prior unit is if you take off walking, you can see how far you're getting away from the center of your GPS barrier. So you can see as I'm walking, I'm now 11 yards away from the center. Let's keep walking. Once I get to 33 yards, the GPS unit should go off and tell me I need to go back. And this is always a good idea, is to walk it. So I'm at 34. Sure enough, the GPS unit's telling the dog, hey, you need to go back. Again, there's six levels that it's going to start vibrating and telling the dog it needs to go back. Once I get back inside of the barrier, the GPS unit will stop beeping at me. But the biggest difference between this one and the other unit is you can look at the device and see how far you are from the center of your barrier. Okay, so just a couple more things I want to mention on this GPS collar. One, it does have a backlight. You can see I've got the backlight turned on. You can press any of the buttons and that will turn on the backlight for you. It stays on a long time and it's nice and bright. The other thing I wanted to mention is that this collar has multiple ways you can train your dog. If you press the M button, that's your mode button. When you get it, it should be set by default to level 00. zero. This is basically automatic correction mode. It's gonna go through six different levels of auto correction to train your dog. Each level is gonna gradually get more severe. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got a barrier set. We should exceed it. You can see it's going through level one correction. Level one is always just a beep, no vibration, no shock. Once it goes to level two though, we're gonna start getting vibration and shock. If you've got shock turned on, I'm gonna use my test bulb so I can show you Right now it's vibrating and now it's shocking. It will progress through the six levels of correction. If your dog does not get back inside the barrier after level six, it will go into what's called protection mode and it will just beep at that point. It will not continue to vibrate or shock. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside my barrier. I won't progress through all the different levels of correction. The other thing I wanted to show you is aside from the level zero zero auto correction mode, you can also set your own levels of correction. So for example, I can go in and I can adjust this all the way up to level six. Now, level six is going to be the most severe. So you're gonna to wanna to set this according to your dog. And then you can set whether or not you want it to vibrate or shock or both, and basically set up your own manual correction mode. Anyway, I hope the video helps.